I can see you all. We can see you all. We have a very distinguished panel over here. Yep. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. Yep. And yeah. Joanna, Joanna Chikwi and David Adams want to do this procedure, so they want to see the details of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, uh, Saibal yeah. and the entire panel there. Here we are uh, from uh, Mount Sinai Cath Lab. Myself, uh, Dr. Annapurna Kini, and then I have Gilbert Tang and uh, Parasuram, the three of us that are uh, working for the clip. We have Samin Sharma in the back and uh, Negar, who is our fellow. And anesthesiologist is Minakam Wiener, the director of uh, cardiac anesthesia. And on the TE, we have uh, Malcolm and uh, uh, Stamatos Liracus. So if you can show the slide, we are going to just... Uh, Nobody want to go update on the previous case? Because let's show this case first. So if you see, this is a case, JS, 70-year-old female, uh, who had presented with a worsening dyspnea on exertion. Yes. So past medical history, uh, you see multiple comorbidities and has open heart twice, bypass in 1998 and an aortic pseudoaneurysm repair in 2019. Uh, known CAD because of uh, diabetes and other uh, comorbidities which uh, she had percutaneous interventions. Good medical therapy both for a CAD as well as a heart failure. She was uh, not tolerant to ACE inhibitor. Uh, so she has been on uh, depaglifazone, uh, Lasix as well as a uh, beta blocker. Uh, labs are good and we can uh, go here to show the uh, TE. EF was about 40%. So transthoracic, I also showed moderate to severe MR. So let's see what the TE shows uh, here. So as a part of a workup because of her worsening symptoms, we did repeat her cath again uh, last week, which had shown that she had uh, just a mild pulmonary hypertension, but more important uh, is moderate, uh, the patents, the stents were just moderate diffuse, which we decided will manage medically, the circumflex stent, but Lima was patent. Um, and which fills the right coronary artery. So we can now talk on the echo. Malcolm? Yes. Uh, yes Sam? Good afternoon. Uh, this uh, four chamber view of, uh, uh, you see the left ventricle uh, dilated and the uh, ejection fraction about 40%, mild release RV function. You can appreciate that the posterior leaflet is tethered and the posterior lateral wall, you can see it hypokinetic. Uh, this uh, 3D, 40% ejection fraction. You can appreciate here the significant material regurgitation and we measure it for you. Uh, mostly central uh, material regurgitation. Uh, the, uh, the radius is uh, 0.9 centimeters. And by putting all together, we get a MR ERO of 0.38 centimeters square and the regurgitation volume of 65 ml. So uh, moderate uh, to severe material regurgitation. And by the previous transthoracic echoes, uh, that was the finding to moderate to severe uh, material regurgitation. The gradient through the matter value is one millimeter mercury. Uh, this is the pulmonary vein, the left upper pulmonary vein. You can see blended systolic flow uh, of the of, on this pulmonary vein. Uh, this is a X um, by commissural view of the matra valve. And you can see that the matter regurgitation is central. Uh, mostly, this is a 3D image of the matter valve. You can appreciate the tether posterior matter leaflet. This is the color we can see uh, central uh, matter regurgitation mostly. This is the MPIs of the uh, 3D image. You can mm -hmm. see the leaflets and you can appreciate very well the tethering of the posterior leaflet and the decrease uh, hypokinetic posterior wall, basal posterior wall. This is with color again. This is the area is 4.2 uh, centimeters square, the area of the matra valve. And uh, this is uh, the transeptal by Keval view for the transeptal. This is uh, what was planning to do the transeptal. And uh, the height here, as you can see, is 4.4 centimeter. Uh, this was our plan where to do the transeptal. And you will see in real life. What's the height we got? Uh, uh, 4.5, 4.5, 4 4.6 centimeters. You can appreciate here. That's where we went through for the transeptal puncture. Okay. So Up we have done you. the transeptal and we have the guide in. Yeah. Can I asked the audience, panel, Kenny, about what, what they would do. Yeah, I know you've already started the procedure. Anyone from Lars, Joanne, would you 
what would you so do in this patient? So do you agree their plan? Mm -hmm. So what, I mean, the patient's going for TIA, looks like a good candidate for a good quality leaflet. So uh, and and yeah, you the size agree. length of the PML, I think important. it would be one, I, one clip case. And Joanne and uh, David, do you agree with this treatment strategy? If you obviously you would have to see this patient in the clinic. Yeah, I mean, hard to say without seeing the patient, but I, I don't think we'd have a huge argument if the interventionist strongly <laughs> thought they were a good candidate for tier. Okay. All right. And Greg, I know you're smiling. You were the leader of the trial, so you would agree that they would. Well, it's, it's a classic co-op case. Uh, so this patient, I think, uh, will likely substantially improve by reduction of MR. So, Greg, let's get a classic co-op result, mild <laughs> MR. Right. Not two yeah. plus, one plus. Yeah. All right. That... All right. Okay. Since we start the procedure, is yeah. anybody yeah. here who would think of TMBR for this patient? What about TMBR? You'd get so, Saibo, that's a great point to you mention. Uh, I think, you know, right now, I think the trials, maybe, maybe except one of them, you know, you need to be non tier suitable for, for TMBR. Although there's another trial that would, uh, you know, consider that as a randomized uh, randomization. But yeah, no, certainly we could potentially screen for patient for TMBR. You're coming the, the, the concern is that a lot of these patients we've seen in the clinic, they don't want to go a CT and hydration protocol and those things as well. So, you know, we try to look at every single mitral case now, whether it's going to be tier versus TMBR. No. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to steer down now. Good. 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 Keep going. Posterior mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, knob. Mm -hmm. which, which which clip did you decide to use? Oh yeah, life? that's a great point. If you see on floral, we decided on XTW to start because of the uh, leaflets are plenty long. I think it was 1.4 centimeters on a posterior leaflet, and then uh, also uh, the you know the jet is relatively broad, so I think that's important to make make the make that decision. I know some people might disagree and might go for an NT, but we like the annual plasty effect of potentially or indirect of the XT, especially when it's long leaflet. So. Okay, yeah, by commercial, explain, please. So we might go a little plus, maybe. Mm. Yeah, see. Okay, show us the, with a little bit medial. Yeah, okay, yeah, we need a little medial. Okay. So we're gonna advance the whole system to uh, to be more central because that's where the jet is. I think it's a little bit more posterior. So you can see this perfect right there. I think this is pretty good there, you want actually. want a little bit more plus? No, maybe. No, no, that's not bad. That's actually yeah. very good. Good, okay. Okay, we're going to jiggle, jiggle. That's what we call it, just to offset the tension of the clip here. You can see that. The nice thing about this now, we now maximize the procedure efficiency, you know, in terms of looking at floral and echo at the same time. And you can see that with the echo, you should not see the two arms into view on the grasping view. And also on floral and RAO, you should not see any parallax. So I'm going to raise the grippers and then unlock. And then we will open the clip to check the gripper orientation. You can see that here. Okay, we go to unlatch and we go to bring the tactile down. Can you show us please on the... On the... Yep, yeah. you can see that it's posterior, right? Everyone agree? Yep. Please show yes. the... Yes. yes. Okay, you see that, right? Okay, right. I'm going to show the non-tactile now. Yep. Okay, everyone see that? On it's the anterior, anterior, right? Okay, okay 3D. Yeah. Gilbert, can you tell the uh, floor people to make the echo large and the floor small? Okay, can yeah. you? Can we, yeah. can, we, yeah. can we switch the two, please? Uh, yeah. Off. Uh, we don't, they don't need floor. Yeah. They need no, no, no. They need both. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. But they need to Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so this is pretty good to start. Oops, sorry. Okay, through the image. How does it look, uh, Stam yeah, and looks, uh, Malcolm? Uh, good. It looks great. Looks pretty looks good, great. right? Twelve yeah. six. We're gonna go at a hair medial to the midline because the jet. If you show color to the audience, so I think that's important. Coming back. Okay. No. Yeah, you are on the jet. Okay. So let's. Let, we, so we we cine that just to look at the trajectory of the clip to make sure it doesn't dive medial or lateral. That was a recent uh, sky book uh, that uh, we're part of, uh, co-authoring that chapter to make sure uh, that is one of the things that we help uh, guide the trajectory of the of the uh, procedure. So, okay, I think we can go back to 2D. So we're gonna close the clip now. I know there's been some discussion about whether you open or close the clip. We like to close the clip when we enter so we can uh, make sure that we don't get entangled. 
And uh, so we're going to go in. Now you can see very nice trajectory. I don't think we need to add any plus or, or minus here. So we'll enter yep. the LV now. We're going to go in. And then yeah. we, as we go in, we want to make sure we don't have a medial dive. And looks pretty good, actually. You can see that it goes right straight underneath. And there's no spinning on the uh, floral as well. So we're going to do a okay. cine there. And uh, to make sure, and you can see that it stays parallel or the same direction. And so now we're going to open the clip and we can go also, 3D can to check the orientation. Also, can you show the hemos by the side? We have a V-Waves, yep. about 45. So let's just uh, pause for a minute here. Hmm. Let's uh, look at the 3D, please, uh, Stan and Malcolm, to confirm the, that we have not spun. We usually use floral to do this, so the hemo but uh, we also, also use side. echo. And, and we also want to make sure we're at the proper location, right? Because we don't want to... Grass and gra regrass if we don't need to. We want to do it one single time and keep the procedure the efficiency. So, how does it look, um, yeah, Malcolm good. and Stan? Looks good. Don't. Looks good. Let's show the hands also. Are we? Uh, are we? How does the color look? Right. So that's where we are. Right. Right. Where the oh, jet is. Show the hands. Yeah. So is, yeah. your, is your goal or objective to try to get away with one clip? No, I think this place like is to do two clips clip, because yeah. the width of the jet. So now, actually, that's a great question. We now routinely measure the width of the jet before we even start the case to see, to predict what kind of, um, you know, how many clips we're going to need. Sometimes it might be better than you expected. And of course, you're not going to put a second clip if it's not necessary. But based on the jet, width of the jet and width of the clip, this is the XTW, we usually would probably need a second one to get the MR of Dr. Adams to say one plus or less. Uh, unless obviously for gradient issue or other issue um, in terms of limiting how many clips we can we can use. Okay, so we'll no, start. It's, uh, it's Howie. You learned it. Yeah, Howie, Howie. Can I ask you, can I ask you about that We're coming decision? Up. Because the major valve area was a little on the smaller side. It was Correct. over four. So I'd be worried about two clips here, especially if you're starting with an XTW. I yep. think if you needed two clips, I might have started with a, an NT. Yes. Um, I, I would have done an NT spatially. Yeah. But I, I, you know, I'm sure cool. you can get a good result here with one clip. But I, yeah. I'm yeah. a little concerned that you'll have a gradient with two. Yeah. And if you need the second one, it might be the NT. Yeah. 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 Well, it depends how it works. Yeah. We come. Well, your own paper, Howie, suggested that a little bit of a gradient is not such a big deal in an FMR patient. Yeah. Uh, okay. Agreed. But I think when you start at four, you, you don't. with an XTW, you're probably going to be that? a valve area of two. When you're in, yeah. And a second clip there will take you down to mitral stenosis area. You see how That's the coffee leaflet is not on? Yeah, 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 yeah. no, no. We, I think we are, we are um, interacting with the apparatus. So we're just going to go a little bit more and just see if it's caught. Medial dive. Yes, I know. Gilbert, it's caught. We found that. Yeah, yeah. medial dive on your clip. Yeah, we no, it's caught. You see that? We found that the actual respiratory change on these patients will actually make you go medial. This patient had a lot of respiratory variation in the 3D. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we found that if we lower the tidal volumes, you actually... Yeah, it's now at more. 350 and it's as low as we can. We all, That's the first thing we walk in the room to make sure our anesthesiologists minimize the, uh, the tidal volume. That's, that's exactly like you said. So. Um, How does it look here? Looks better now. Yeah, it looks better. It's a little bit medial, it, though, it, huh? It's so medial than we wanted to be. Yeah, I today. think we might need to go a little bit more central. You're absolutely right. Position it, yeah. right? We'll yeah, no, no, center. it's fine. So we're advancing the stabilizer, and we also undo a little bit of M, so take just so that we can keep the perpendicular. Take off some of the M on the... Exactly, that's what we're doing. And I think this is a little bit better in terms of the... Okay. You're pulling back still. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think you're catching the posterior leaflet. Yeah. Okay, so let's try again yeah, here. Okay. Okay. Let's take some of the plus off again. No, there's no plus actually. No. We can go it's a little okay. bit of so minus. Yeah, no, this is better now. You can see that here. I think both are coming, right? Okay. Yeah. Both, both are now. looking good. Yeah. Okay. So have both come up. Come up. Yeah. Coming up. Coming up. Go posterior. Posterior. Have all the posterior. Yeah. Yes. Most of the posterior. Come up a little bit. Come up a little bit. Now we can drop. Now okay, drop. Go, go, more posterior. Come posterior. Drop. Drop. More posterior. Please. More posterior. Good. Okay. We're okay, gonna drop we're posterior now. Both. Yeah. We drop both. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Good. Okay. How does the bounce look, uh, Stam and Malcolm? Yeah, looks good. Looks let's good. Look at, let's look at that before we uh, do it. 
do anything? Before you close so the clip, I want you to see the orientation that you're truly perpendicular. I usually keep it at 120 and look at the orientation again. Sure. You want to do, You want to look at 3D, my uh, Saibo? Yeah, let's look at 3D. We did went a little bit uh, lateral. more lateral. Let's see. And we can also... So you can see, looks pretty good there. I think it's uh, yeah, it looks center. It's a little bit counterclockwise. It should have been a little bit more. Yeah. Right? Or am I just overlooking it? Okay. No, he, he needs to show you a little bit about true on false view, right? <laughs> so if you look at true on false view, the commissure is just a couple of degrees off if you look at it. So the whole image is still counterclock exactly, just a little bit. Now you can so see. Okay, yeah. I mean, also on Floro, on Floro is pretty good. I know there's a system. You see that on Floro? That maybe we can counterclock a little bit, but we can see how we close and we uh, and then we can decide. Yeah. Okay. Why why don't we close and see? Yeah. Two D and two D and yeah. explain. Go close. No, hold on a sec. Let's go two D and explain yeah. again. I want, I want you to show the LA pressure because how it changes. It, yeah, really we need to show him. Show the LA Can we show the hemodynamics the, as well? Yeah. Take out the fluoro. Yeah. Take out the fluoro. Yeah. You can take out the fluoro if you need to. So you can see the V-wave is actually very high to start. So, okay. So we're going to close a little bit now. And then we're going to try to go a little bit more posterior and, and relax. And uh, go a little bit tension off. Show the hands and the... Floor humidity. off. I mean... I'm going to lock now. Lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock. Okay. Yeah, good. Lock. Okay, we're going to advance a little bit as we close. Go a little more close to your guy, Tor. Why not floor, no? Mm. Okay. So, looks okay. Looks... Show us posterior, please. You cannot show four things? Okay, we're going to close completely now. Let's start. Okay. Okay. That's looks good. pretty good. Okay. And then we're going to yeah. undo yes. the Maybe tension. Maybe make a little less echo. Okay. So let's take okay. a look. We dropped like uh, five points. Put the color on. So uh, did we split the jet or what did we do? Uh, let's see. I think it looks okay. good. So this is uh, lateral. Uh, this is sorry, medial. Medial. You have a small jet there. Yeah. And uh, no, I think is, it's lateral. No, la this is lateral. This yeah. Is lateral. What's the map now? Okay, thank you. This is lateral. So our V way did come down a little bit. You can see. Yeah, I would there, yeah. Down by. This is next to the points. clip. Lateral. Yeah. And this is. What does the panel think? Medial. I mean, I don't see much MR left, but wow. then we can check more images. Let's say, yeah. let's do a 3D. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, it's less. So, David, is this acceptable to you for surgery? I know, Joanna, you're laughing. No. <laughs> I intensely. Is it your oh, one plus time no, that you... I'm going to no, watch. No, I'm you guys finish and I'll give Minimal you my amara. ride. <laughs> I think we should finish. Yeah, finish. finish. So the only, the only thing I might be... Sorry, go ahead. I think it's closer to two plus And, uh, you know, your V-Wave is about half the size it was, but it's still substantial. So I, I ideally wouldn't stop there. Yeah, what's the gradient? No, let's look at the gradient, yeah, let's right? The gradient. Let's check the gradient. Let's check the gradient. The question yeah, no, is no up? question is a uh, reposition versus two, second. Two is second the, tip, yeah. two yeah. on the on the lateral right. And open. Mm -hmm. Reposition. You might be able to just move the clip a tiny bit medial and get the mm. get the jet. Yeah. But right now the What's jet the you said is lateral or medial? It's lateral. Yeah. Then. Cyber, what do you think for that? Because on the 2D imaging, it looks like you have a lateral to medial dive in the pivot Let's point. See. So if you look at the key That's point correct. on the floral. The pivot point is actually lateral to where the clip positioning is. Oh. If you pull the system a little bit back into the right atrium, you have a nine degree coaxiality from the clip to the pivot point. Because a lot of the MR right now, if you look on the bottom left hand image and the echo on the intercommissure view, the clip is not going 12 to six, it's actually going from one to seven. So it could be some tension torque bias from the pivot point being too yeah. lateral. Absolutely, they, they, you're absolutely right. So, I mean, one question is, uh, you know, do we need to regress and make sure it's Coat perpendicular the before jet. we come up, right? So that's another question that would you consider doing that? The residual jet is medial. Let me show you. I think you're slightly um, disoriented with the clip. You can get a slightly better result if you want. Okay. It's already okay. good, but it... yeah. Okay, so we can uh, certainly. You so stamp a little bit. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, Stan, we're going to uh, reopen and try to maybe make it a little more coaxial. Okay. So we make good. So more no, no, 12.6 is good. I think we just maybe over am a little bit. We're just going to open the clip without raising the grippers. Okay, so you can see mm. again. And we're going to open the grippers now. Okay, so certainly we can undo the am like what Didi said, right? You said what you're saying? And then bring it more medial. Okay, and then we can and, and move your pivot point more towards the right HM, right? Make a 90 degree, a little bit more acute right now on your floral. You yeah. can see that you're kind of actually now turning. that's why there's so much free movement in the clip. Bubble. Yeah, now it's a little bit better, right? You see, you agree? You see and then okay, right you have both, you have both leaflets, yeah, because now keep coming up, keep coming, keep coming. Yep, you have all the posterior, yeah, okay, okay, we got all uh, that drop. Drop the posterior. Okay. Yeah. 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 Go go large, post, post. Echo large, please. Can you put echo large on the large, screen, please? please? Can you make echo larger? Yeah. The okay, we, got, we just dropped. Record yeah. you saying drop, that, drop. Cyborg, and keep on playing it over and over again. Okay, so mm -hmm. now we regress there. You think you like this more? A little more coaxial. Okay, you I'm going to okay. okay. yeah. yeah. go posterior. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm going posterior. Yeah, good, close. Don't don't do 3D. Okay. Whatever you do. Okay. I'm giving back. Yeah. Posterior, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay, how's this look? Okay. Eight, eight points to ten points. Okay. We have better, right? Try to show so the pressure, the pressure drop okay. significantly. Yeah. Okay, so can we show the hemodynamics again, please? Don't worry about floral. So, so that's a great teaching point, right? So we, that's what we teach our fellows. You have to make sure, yeah. you have to make sure your, your shaft is perpendicular to the annular plane, both by commissural view. And uh, that's very important so that you don't end up releasing the clip and end up getting a little cockeyed. So, yeah. so tell us, uh, Stam and Malcolm, where yes, the uh, jet so is now. This is uh, medial, as you can see, again, little bit jet, small yeah. jet of MR. This is the clip. And this is lateral. I mean, one thing we wish the Abbott will make a clip that we can release and then decide we can put it back again if we, because <laughs> uh, what we say is that, you know, we, until well, actually, you release the at, clip, you, you don't really know how much MR will be actually left, right? Sometimes put it's better than expected, sometimes it's worse than expected. So let's put the color on. Minimal, minimal. Uh, so, Saibo, are you happier with this? No, it's not Saibo. Dr. David Adams have to Dr. Be happy. Adams? No. <laughs> Dr. Adams, we need Joe? your approval. <laughs> <laughs> we are happy. But look, David has to. He's David has to. Upset. <laughs> he wants to fire you. I, I know. I, I don't <laughs> want to. Just get, I want you guys to finish your case, then we'll talk. Okay, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> No, no, but let's let's ask the panel before we proceed because yeah, we'll check the gradient we'll again. We'll check the gradient. We'll check the primary vein release. flow. Yeah, yeah. We'll okay. The grid is now. Good. Okay, we. What else? Are you good with the insertion? Yes, yes. Insertion is still free. Insertion, insertion is good. Very so good. we're ready for release. Okay. Yeah, very good. Bill, insertion uh, is good. So yes. What is the systemic now? What's this? What's the systemic map right now? 82. 82. So no change. Okay. So typically. Diminishes after you release the clip. Right. So we. Surprisingly, the only pressure didn't go up. Usually, it does go up. It does. I agree with you. I agree with you. So we're gonna go to the LAO view, LAO cranial, no, just to normalization. Normal, common okay. vein flow normalized. You can see that. We yeah. got in the meantime. We're good. Okay, good. Not Increase opening. The, was the baseline? Yeah, no, yeah, I showed the floor or not? No, no, no. no. Blunt. Yeah, blunted. Is the common uh, vein flow reversed at baseline? It was blunted. Doctor Aston was blunted. Yes. Did your blood pressure increase now? Do you need to lower it now? Uh, what's the map right now? It's still 80 something. That's what might have heard. Map is 82 still. There was no increase or decrease, correct? Yep. No, no major, same. no, no, no significant increase or decrease. People like to see the clip going out from Floro. You want to do that? Okay, we're just going to start, you know, flossing the lock line and, and getting that ready now. Insertion is good, right, Stamina? Yeah, very good, very good, excellent. Okay, the lock line is coming out. You can go back to floral if you want. In terms yeah. of the... Show the floral now. Okay. We're going to check the final yeah. arm angle again. We're going to open, pass neutral, loose, stay in neutral. Okay. Pin out. Hey, Gilbert, what was your yeah. last ACT? 
What was the last ACT? 325. 325. We like to keep the ACT above 300 in general. We're seeing some stuff in the left atrium. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got to expose the groove. Yeah. Okay, we got to do. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, so Come we got to do nine turns, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one extra for good luck. Good luck. Okay, pull. Okay. First up. Everything is bigger in America. It's only eight times in Europe. <laughs> so we have to, one thing is very careful. We're going very posterior, so we have to very carefully release the pins. Mm -hmm. You can see that here. Very stable and release. Okay, we got to bring it back in here. Slow, good. Okay. Yeah, show some color at the end, please. And then uh, we'll. The pulmonary vein flow is normalized. The uh... so so this is the MR right now. Okay, flow. You have to buy. You ready to flush, please? This is uh, medial. To the clip. Small jet. It's always important oh. also to see okay. blood Silver. pressure at the end. That has to yep. be over hundred systolic. So we. Yeah, really yeah what's the the map is eighty surprise. right eighty yeah. something. What's the systolic Charged. pressure? Perfect. Okay, so systolic pressure is 124, has not changed. With, uh, okay, flush, please. Yeah. They have to flush. Let me do a 3D end phase. Flush, please. Can someone plus, please? Anybody? Yeah. Flush, heavy. Ready? Thank you. So we'll take please. the clip open a little bit. Sometimes we get too much tissue in there. We get a jet in between it. And if you look on the floor, it looks like it's not as tight. We've gotten that okay. quite a few times, especially the XTWs. Probably grab too much tissue. So this is the floral we can see here. I can mag in for you. How does it look, uh, Stam and Malcolm? Yeah. Here you go. That's what it looks like on. Yeah, two small jets on the sides of the clip. So. What do you guys think? Do you Hemodynamics as well? Yeah. Hemodynamics, you, you can see. Let's go back to 2D. Okay, the procedure is over. You no. can't gauge degree of root. If it was a little 3D, bit bigger, you can only locate it. Yeah, the V-Wave yeah. is a little let's bit bigger. Let's go back and do a proper echo analysis now. So 3D only shows you location. 2D echo. Uh, let's look at 2D. Zero degree, just assessment of MR, not just the 3D. 3D looks good. Just look at the color. Low, yes, and then yes. the gradient Ex and the pulmonary vein. Explain. Show some Explain color, please. Color here. This is a medial to the clip. Mm -hmm. Put the color box up in the left atrium. Is medial? It's actually Maybe. not going, David, anywhere. It's actually a small... Well, again, I'm, 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 okay, guys, clip. wait a minute. We got to rotate our... Let's scan the whole valve in the four chamber and the long axis so yes. we learn everything. Scan the whole valve, show us the commissural side. Yes. So you see the... The long axis is on the right side. Okay, let's do here. So four chamber, here. Let's do it. Let's, let me do it at 180 degrees. This is zero degrees. Yeah, so start from top to bottom, from A1, yeah, P1 yeah. to A2, P2. Uh, this is... Uh, 40 degrees. No, to go, I mean, in the zero degree, four chamber view, David's asking you to do four chamber yeah, view. Yeah, yeah. Now, Start from just, A1, P1. yeah, just stay here and let's don't anyone say that's mild or one plus. That's two jets. There's, these are, again, we can argue about what it is, but we know what it's not. It's not mild MR. This is moderate MR. Yeah, I think that's consistent, you know, with the moderate size V wave. It also shows you though how hard it is to grade MR after a clip. I mean, you you split the uh, jet, but I think hemodynamically it's telling you it's two plus, and that's what it looks like. I know you think we should yeah. put a second so clip. I know it's reduced, but it's still, you know, it's it's not trivial. It's certainly larger than the A wave, and uh, I think you could try to put wh what what gradient do you have now? Uh, three and three, three and three is the gradient. Okay, so you can try. I guess, a yeah, clip. I think we should put a second clip, right? Would Gilbert like to put a third, a second clip. Yeah. You'd like oh, third. You put the no, 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 I'm third. I mean, how many in the panel over here? Hey, Greg, this is so, Greg, this is so important because that's why co-op is co-op because you got to one plus in 90% of patients. So you really, 
we can't we can't tell you're getting, you you're getting a co-op result well term unless 20, we get a co-op result. Well, it was it was seventy five percent, David, or seventy two percent, and and Seibel's paper actually we couldn't show a long term difference from two plus versus zero to one. Uh, there was a trend, but not a big one. Nothing like three, residual three to four plus. So, but that being said, it's clearly better. Lower is better. So, I, I think in this case, if there's a safe there pathway space, to get there is less, a space immediately for you to put a one NT. Well, well, let's find out where the jet is. Actually, can we uh, yeah, pinpoint? Is it lateral or medial? Yeah, or we, we split the jet. That's what we did. Systolic with the AD mean. Would you would you go for a second clip, or you would be okay with this? So, how he says, leave it like this. Yep. Uh, David's not so happy. Yep. Greg's okay with it. Where's the medial? Like it's this medial? This medial? I would try. I would try a second clip. Okay. Okay. Let's, I would let's go second. NT, NT or XT? NT. You want to split it. You think you may need two, then you want to space it. So I think the problem is actually the grasp was excellent. And that when the grasp and everything was as one system, we were down to trivial MR. But when we tighten the um, XTW system, if you go to the 10, we see a lot of times there's a 30% of the time the clip will actually open up um, because it cannot maintain the tension that you have on there when the system is attached. So majority of the jets actually come coming from within the clip that Stan was showing on the LVOT view. Regarding a second clip, so the, I don't think you could do better with the first grasp. The clip opened up. That's a mechanical issue that Abbott has. The second part is that the LV cavity size is at least six centimeters. Usually an MR case is not going to be like this. And I was wondering if there's actually concomitant AI in this patient. Because if there's AI, I would definitely put a second clip in because within two years, you're going to fail with this one clip device. Not so much looking at is this truly just reducing the MR. But if, there's, if there's no AI, then, you know, depending on how yeah. old the patient is, you're balancing the gradient now. And there's how no, much are you going to go with the gradient? Yeah. So would no you go AI, for another they, clip? No AI. No AI. The, the issue is that the, most of the MR is coming from within the clip. Let's get this. So if here. you go medial or lateral to this, it will reduce your coaptation. So reduce the MR. But it'll be at the price of a gradient. Yeah. yeah so but I think that point, if you have a six or seven millimeter gradient, I think that would be fine. In, a, in, an, in an elderly person with functional mitral regurgitation, again, in coap, the quarter of the 25% of the patients that had on median grading of seven millimeters of mercury, the exact same outcomes second. as the rest. I wouldn't want, you know, so, uh, 12. Maybe, you know, and, we, everyone agree with an NT? NT? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. They, they wanted NT yeah. first time itself. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay, we're going you with see, the second clip. Yeah. They got ready, uh, both are. Uh, so Gilbert just and explain yeah. us which which channel are you going yes. after the medial or the medial I, I'm medial. not sure the medial is the medial or the biggest one the medial is the biggest yes this this is the medial and this is the lateral actually the lateral is very close to the clip as you can see here uh, I think medial is the Mm -hmm. The largest what, one. What it looks like, you know, your your PA pressure right now is what? What's your PAD? No, they don't have a right heart. No, we don't, yeah, have, we don't, we don't have, have a small one. What's your left atrial pressure? Okay, What's it's coming out. Left atrial pressure? It's coming out now. Yes. Well, okay. Yeah. I, sure, I don't so. think the patient's dehydrated now, so it'll probably okay. be okay. And and again, these okay. uh, these FMR patients with a lot of comorbidities, they don't exercise nearly as vigorously as the MR. Can you show us? You're coming out. Showing, you're showing. You're showing. You're showing. Okay. The okay. MR, it's a much bigger deal. Okay, so we go to M again. We'll have to make sure we we pass the first clip without knocking it off, obviously. So, oh, mm -hmm. steer. So, to your point, I would have put the first clip slightly more medial to give space to the yeah. yeah. I agree with you, hundred percent, Saibal. That was what we all intended to do in the first place. Oh. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. You did a great job. I think you that's that's why I say so. Remember, I predicted this is a two clip case. Everyone thought it was a one clip, but as you know, based on at least our experience, we knew this could be a two clip case. No, so. because the width of the jet, like I said before. Okay, so we just gonna go past the the uh, first clip, right? Everyone agree? So we have to uh, now jiggle, jiggle again, so that we. What's that? Say that again. This thing decrease. 
No, we can't. Tidal volume, it's no, tidal tidal volume, volume decrease. It's 350. You can't, I mean, you can, we can stop the patient from breathing the uh, completely and go apnea, but typically it, we do what the anesthesiologists allow us to do. We're going to open now, unlock, and then we're going to open the clip to check the uh, gripper orientation. Can you show us the gripper orientation up top, please? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to now tactile. It's posterior, right? Everyone agree? Yeah. Yes. Okay, non tactile. <laughs> Okay. Right, did you see? Yes, I did. Anti, anti, uh, Saibo. Anti. I think everyone on the panel seems to think anti will do the job, right? Yeah. Okay, and we're going to go parallel to the first one. Okay, we're going to close the clip when we go in. So, Stan, show us, uh, Malcolm, show us where we're going to grasp. Cool, cool. Where we grasp? Where are we going to go? Where is the grasping view? Show yeah, us the this, grasping this is the view. Grasping. This is the grasping. Okay, good. So we're right right where we are, right? So we yeah. don't want to miss where we are. So, okay, go okay so we're going to yeah. go in now. Go. Okay, just be careful. Mm. Don't want to knock the first clip out. It's too far away. Come yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of M, so I don't want to, I want to be careful, be mindful of the going in and not spinning, right? That's That's one of the things that you have to make sure your second clip is parallel to the you're first one. you more As, closer to the second. Assuming your first clip is the right angle. So remember also that the first one is XTW. So you can't be going that close physically with the tissue, right? So I think we can yeah, go a little far. bit more. It's well, let's too far. Come closer. Here. We're advancing the system now. Huh? So we're going to open now. Yeah, well, we, I took out some ammo already. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. So hold on a second. Mm. So let's make sure. You see how the respiration causes it to go back and forth? Yeah, yeah, yeah mm. no, we know that. Problem is that if you do, if the whole respiration, it'll go more medial. I assure you completely okay, you perpendicular. 2,000 more heparin, please. You want to do 3D? We usually yes, don't do course. 3D. We usually don't do 3D if the first clip is uh, appropriate orientation. Heparin, uh, 2,000? Yeah, looks looks uh, good. Parallel, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. No? Can you show us the posterior clip arm? Yeah. Do we have both leaflets or not yet? Anterior is in? We lost. Do we lose it or anterior is in? Okay. I think, the, I think the posterior leaflet is stuck. Ah, okay, it's better now. How's it look now? Is the gripper stuck? No, it's not stuck. Hmm. Posterior leaflet is moving, you can see it. Yeah, posterior leaflet is moving. Do we have I enough leaflet? Do we have enough anterior? No, anterior, no, anterior is, not, is not on. It's not on, yeah. Uh, okay, but I, I would check once again, you're actually perpendicular to it. So try to go back to the 3D okay. and take some gain off. Your top right hand image, if you just clock your clip arms a little bit, your anterior will come into view. There, um, yeah. Yeah. there you go. Now you have anterior, but I think anterior is on the shaft. Posterior is in, anterior is in now. Just pull up a little bit yeah, more. Both, both are on, yeah. Okay. Come back, come back. Go posterior, go posterior. Okay. Go posterior. Show us posterior clip on, please. Posterior, you like? Yeah, go posterior. Show us posterior. Good. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, both are on, right? You see that? Go back, look back, look at the, the interior. Yeah, There's interior a bounce. Yes. Yeah, yeah, interior is on. Yes. Huh? Yeah, yeah, There's no bounce on that. Interior is no bounce? Pull up on it very high. So Sometimes let's see. the four chamber view can help you see the anterior since you're right next to the original clip instead of the three chamber view. And they can give you an alternate view for the four, um, anterior leaflet. 
Okay, can you? Like how close? It's not close enough. It should have been a little bit more close. You want it closer, uh, Saibo? It's okay. I mean, it's all right. Maybe we could try going more clo in closer. Here, that's the leaflet again. Yeah, the anterior is in. It's okay. Yeah, anterior is in, right? So we have to <laughs> go. You want more in, I'm going to be rubbing against literally the first clip here. Okay, now we are better, yeah. Yeah, you got both in. I'm not sure. Show us anterior first. Very little dye transplant. Okay. We're in back. We're dropping anterior. You see that, right? You you're happy that yeah. that there? There's a bounce there. Yeah, right? You is. got a nice bounce. Yes. Yeah. Posterior is not in. Yeah, posterior is not in. Oh, you see, they're seen now. They're seen here. Yeah. Posterior How about seen? now? Yes, yes, yes. Drop, drop. Drop it, drop it. Yeah, we drop both okay. now. Okay. Let's see the interior again. How does it look to you guys? Is it close enough to you, uh, Saibo? I don't think we can get closer. Remember, that's tissue and that's the clip, right? Yeah. yeah. You have both. Uh, give make sure that the the Say it again? We Just locked. Make sure I'm, it's I'm, oriented. Yeah, I locked it already, and on floral, it looks okay. You have both, yeah. So we get a little close now. Can we see LA pressure also? LA Show pressure, didn't, LA really, pressure again? didn't really that change that much. Better. What's better? Okay, we're closed. Actually, based on LA, really first time the lowest of the low. B way went down oh, to like 32. Give us, give us a gradient. 32. And uh, what's the map now? Okay, thank you. When you both A wave and V wave are blunted. Three. Yeah. Three okay, on the gradient is, is, gradient is, is uh, three. Mean three on is the three. So that's good. So it went yeah. from three to three. Yeah. Okay. And about the same. I think we'll release. Yeah. You can put it in a yeah. smaller orifice. So you left one really big orifice. And also okay. that that's there was a reduction of MR2, right? Really, was, really yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look and make sure the insertion. Can you check the insertion one more time? Because mm -hmm. remember, you have shadowing of the first clip. You have a shorter clip now. So I want to make sure the anterior leaflet is, is well inserted. I'm pretty convinced about posterior. Posterior is in. What about anterior? Yeah, it was 17, and now it's 11, it's residual. 11. Six, six, six millimeter, millimeter. Can you just show us again to make sure to see how that looks? Because the problem is that the you shadowing. Do... Yeah, Say it again? It's okay. Yeah, I think it's yeah. okay. Yeah. But if you want, you can just go in a four chamber and see it that way, because you can anterior leaflet is better seen <clears> in four <throat> chamber. Let's go to four chamber, four chamber. Uh, Mark. You find the clip, yeah. All right, let's start then. Okay, okay we'll yeah. release here if you want to, right? Yeah. Cyber? Everyone, yeah. everyone agrees. We are done. To if deploy? everybody agrees to release, we are going yeah. to release, and you can go yeah. on with your uh, next uh, lecture. Yeah. Okay, do you see that? You I'm open. Final yes. color before me. Yeah, let's release. Yeah. I come show you. Yeah. Okay, trips up, please. The first case, yeah. Um, Samin, are you yeah. there in the room? Yes, yes, yes. yes sir. So, I mean, too much, like, too much. Uh, the audience would like to know how the previous patient did. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. just tell you. So, the previous patient, we after a couple of shocks, he returned back. He's back on ECMO. After that, we have done a coronary angiogram, uh, no, no, no obstruction, and also like 8 millimeter gradient across the valve. Yeah. Yeah, so we placed a balloon pump and yeah. patient being shifted uh, yeah. to yeah, so, CCO. Yeah. Yeah, so what happened is patient remained in refractory v fib and uh, like when, out. when we came off uh, we put patient quickly on ECMO we could not shock him out uh, and uh, on echo remain coronary flow okay. good electrolytes were all good so we rapidly put ECMO and then shock with, with 350 actually 
and then patient shock mm. back, pressure came up, and uh, of course, uh, then we did an angiogram yeah, just to make sure coronaries were Slip good. Slip is okay, right? Not yeah. opening. Yeah. So patient, uh, so I would say, yeah, sinus rhythm had ECMO, and we are deciding whether to take out now or we do leave it for 24 hours. If the uh, feeling is that maybe leave it overnight, yes. 24 hour, although okay, pressure now. is very good right now, and a sinus rhythm and 8 to 10 millimeter pullback gradient uh, mm -hmm. from the no, LB to AO, and coronage are normal. So okay. still Exposed don't group, know why we feel but One, I think it was two, patient with a low three, EF and prolonged four, pacing five. caused it. Okay, now here. Yeah, we are um, releasing this second yeah. clip now. Yeah. Second clip. Okay. So, so what was the investigation after? Eight. Months Eight. Later. But then by then it's function, yeah. but that yeah. doesn't, we don't know what it means. Right. right. No, let me just see. Right, he's on ECMO. ECMO gradient is slightly low. That's correct. Yeah. So, um, but so ECMO also. Very nice, but I yeah. think yeah. just give us for a last color picture before yeah. and the, the clips look stable. Yes. So there's let's no let's detachment. Uh, okay, you got in. You got in. Let's, no, no, yeah, let's get in first. Very nice imaging, by the way, Sam. And then, uh, thank you. Right. Thank you. I also have here Dr. Anastasio, yeah. so doing a great job. Uh, okay, we show we the were, color we again. Big, Final we color. Big, we big. Color probably veins and the gradient. Gradients. The gradients are three and three. Uh, still three so you got a small no, no, no. jet left. There's no clip in jet through the clip, and the medial jet is gone. Yeah, the right? medial is gone. Some yep. uh, small lateral jet uh, remains. There's no yeah. hemodynamic fluoro now. David's calling it four plus, though. Let's see the pulmonary vein. Uh, Let's see the hemodynamics too. Oh. Please. David's not happy. By the way, Gilbert, I'm waiting for a valve assessment, guys. We we got to scan the whole valve in yes. at least two different views to make decisions. Sometimes. Right. So, so what, let's, what see, are, let's like, see a fourth chamber view. Uh, I don't know. Give me yeah. in the whole yes. valve. Right. Let's see, so let's, let's, see, let's do let's yes. do uh, a fourth chamber and an LDOT. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will go. I will go around. The, uh, What's the map now? So okay. this What's is zero map? degrees. Ninety. Ninety. Yep. Oh. Map is now 90. It's actually improved. This is a uh, increase. Degrees. Yeah. Now, this is so the B wave. Around 60 degrees. Well, the, but the map is now 90, Greg. Can so it's, uh, the B wave will probably be a little bit yeah, 90, more elevated. 90 degrees. Yeah. So that happens sometimes. I've seen it. You know, Greg, it goes up and down when Go the aortic pressure went up. It's gone up yeah. to 90, right? So start? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The see long axis. Uh, okay, good, good. Uh, long axis here. Yeah, for. You know, unless the ventricle is terrible, you really shouldn't have a big V wave. You know, it's relative. Like I've seen this happen. It drops immediately, and then the pressure goes up, and it goes up again. And so I, I think this reduction is quite good. So, yes. So I think, uh, thank you very much. It was a thank very you. nice demonstration of case. And I'm sure you guys must be very exhausted with three difficult cases, especially the second one. But I, at least Third the patient's one. doing okay. All right, yeah, and you, you can start your lectures, and hopefully we'll get ready for another case in a while. Yeah. But you can start uh, oh, all the great lectures now. Thanks, so much. thanks everyone. Thank you, thank you. So, so Saibo, before we go, just just because I don't think we can leave that case without a one minute more one minute more discussion, and that is about the the options to begin with, because you know, Mike, I'll, I'll tell you what I thought about when I watched this case. I think we're on the right track, meaning that if you if you can get to mild MR, I'm all in on the clip. If, you, if you're if you not sure, then I, I think a TMBR is the future. I do think in the long haul, that's where we'll head, because that's going to be zero MR. TMBR, do you say? That's going to be zero MR. We know that. So we again, we got to figure out the LV alpha track obstruction. It's so early. So you want to be night and all cage. But project chest. 10 years from now, when all that stuff gets solved, and I think that we, what we're going to do is we're not going to, we're going to make sure that we do our best. If we want to talk about picking valves in surgery for valve and valve 10 years from now, we're also going to talk about, we got to eliminate the MR. And that's what we're going to do. Joanna, what, what do you think, Joanna? Would you like to have a night cage? Saibu, you're yourself? being facetious about a big nitinol cage in your chest because you bang them in the left atrial appendage, you, you put them everywhere, nitinol doesn't seem to bother you. I mean, you're hyper um, so like a walking case. But for that patient, we've basically comforted ourselves that we've downgraded the MR from severe to about one to two plus, and we've convinced ourselves that the patient hasn't a gradient. 
sedated, with a TEE, whatever the volume status is. And you and I both know that that patient walks down, gets a transthoracic echo, and that gradient will be significantly worse than it is. And sure, maybe these are bedbound patients that don't go anywhere, but I suspect that's not going to help the patient as much as a really good transcatheter mitral valve replacement might have done. And an EOS is actually See, a very nice model. Without any data, right? You don't have any data for that. Right? So, right? That. That's your imagination. Well, I just, I just want to right. give a different opinion, and the, the opinion is I don't think we really know. I mean, the data that we have so far is that 2 plus doesn't seem much worse than 0 to 1 plus, and there's no indication, as Bob Bonner will tell you, to operate or intervene on 2 plus MR. Um, yes, there's a correlation between 2 plus MR and adverse outcomes, but that may be an Greg, you might want to wait for the next couple of talks before well, and yes. You're going to show me some, some data that we should operate on 2 plus MR? No, but we'll certainly share data that suggests that 1 and 2 plus MR is not good for you. No, no, but well, no, no, it's an association, but, Joanna, but it doesn't mean general correcting general. it improves the prognosis of the patient. We're talking about this is this is a different patient. We have a different debate. This is functional and mitral regurgitation, very different disease. So yes. So, so we we all know mitral valve repair is better than mitral valve replacement, probably for a lot of different reasons. I always thought one of the reasons, David and Joe, was the anterior leaflet really helps direct the blood into this vortex. And as soon as I put any valve, whether it's transcatheter or surgery, I completely disrupt that and, and lead to chaotic flow. How big of a difference do you think that will make between basically repairing a valve, whether it's with a clip or surgical, and replacing a valve, whether it's with a transcatheter or surgical? The, the dynamics of the, of the counterclockwise flow through the ventricle. There is a lot of energy loss as soon as you put any valve in the, in the mitral space. Yeah, but Michael, what does putting a clip do to the uh, vortices coming into the ventricle? It maintains it. Because the leaflets still work finely. The cords are correct. So it actually maintains, that, and by the way, the annular dimension and the annulus continues to contract. Yes, you do. No, it's a it's You have two, says. No, no, it's not the same thing. It's but it's more physiological than putting a vital valve in replacement. It's still, yeah, it's still middle of the atrium. You still have the anterior rudder of the uh, leaflet. Yes, of course, but that's not the point. That's not the point. You put a valve in there, and on one hand, valve that flow goes straight into the septum and becomes chaotic. If you keep the anterior leaflet, that anterior leaflet actually directs it so that it actually slides along the septum, makes a counterclockwise vortex, and comes out. I mean, the LV is a terrible design. The inflow and the outflow are right next to each other. I mean, why God did it that way, I don't know. No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's intricately, int intricately designed to create those vortices because the vortices themselves have forward motion, which propels things. But I still think if you put a clip on the valve, you're probably disrupting those vortices too. So, so I mean, it, yeah. I mean, you know, Bob, it's obviously not going to be exactly normal. It's kind of yeah. it's physiological, but it's, it's the least you can do because you are maintaining the, the leaflet cord capillary muscle. Yeah, yeah no, I would agree. It's that probably better than putting in a putting in a valve, a new valve. That's all I'm saying. And th there are bi leaflet transcatheter valves coming as well that will preserve the vortices better than a tri leaflet mitral valve. Yeah. 